Wow. So, so your father and his drive, would you say that it was, it was, it was like translated to you, like just give, like, like given to you. And then that, that combined with pushing you to, to, to Toastmasters, uh, not, not allowing, I guess, and forgive me if I'm wrong here, but it's like almost like saying like, oh, you think you're handy, like you're, you're handicapped, you're, you're, you're cutting yourself short. No, 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 no. We're, you're going to come with me and we're going to build you up and, we, and you're going to get better. Yeah. And he always, you know, I was funny because I was saying I was scared when I got in the car. I wasn't scared of him. I was scared of what he was going to do because he always, <laughs> he, always, he always would do something that would help you stretch and grow. And it was never mm -hmm. done in meanness. It was always done in love and in I believe in you. And, um, you know, it was funny because when he brought me into his group, all those men were like that as well. They all believed in me. And so I couldn't help but do better. You know, I couldn't mm -hmm. help but succeed at what they wanted me to do because they were all going, come on. I have this huge cheerleading team of, you know, mm -hmm. dads, <laughs> all these guys. And, and but my dad did that not only for me and my sister, but for a lot of people. Um, when we became older and we moved out of the house, my dad and my mom would take in other young people who didn't have anybody and they would help them. So um, he just constantly believed in people. He believed he always needed to do his best and that he needed to love the snot out of people <laughs> all the time. And he did that. He lived that every single day. That's awesome. Like it, it really is. It's really um, a great thing. Uh, and so 